first this evening at five. A new study shows black women in Atlanta dying from cancer at higher rates than white patients. The comparison particularly bleak for black women battling breast cancer. Tracy A. McPeer spent the day looking into the root issues driving these trends. She joins us live from the 17th Street Bridge in Atlanta. Tracy. Well, the study was based here in Atlanta and shows for the first time black women dying more from breast cancer than any other cancer and all cancer outcomes worse for black patients than white ones. Now, it's a disparity the American Cancer Society says needs to change. It was just hard trying to maneuver through the healthcare system, not having insurance, not knowing where to go. In the 15 years since she was first diagnosed with stage two breast cancer, Felicia Mahone has learned a lot about advocating for her own health. You know, keep asking and keep asking and keep asking. And then finally, maybe somebody might hear you or they might not. As a black breast cancer survivor, she says she was not surprised to hear what the American Cancer Society's latest study found, showing black women are 41% more likely to die from breast cancer than white women, despite a lower risk of being diagnosed with the disease. That should be a call to action for American Cancer Society CEO Karen Knudsen attributes it in part to differences in when they're diagnosed. Black women are being diagnosed later, but irrespective of when they're diagnosed, they have a, a, a worse outcome than, than whites. So this is again that where we, that we take that to mean very strongly that it's the access to quality cancer care. The study also showed the cancer was detected early in only 57% of black patients compared to 67% of white women, leading black women with a lower five-year survival rate compared to white women. This entire cancer disparities report truly is a call to arms because the, the discrepancy between blacks and whites tells us quite simply we can do better. Mahon says the black community needs to talk more about cancer and encourage each other to do self exams and schedule mammograms. I've had um, three maternal aunts to have breast cancer and four maternal first cousins to have breast cancer. And we still don't talk about cancer in my family. And her advice to other black women is to know so, their bodies, have a screening plan in place, and be persistent. I have to still fight with my doctors um, when I'm telling them what's wrong with me. You have to know your worth. You have to know that you're worth it. Now, screening is a major component in prevention and treatment for cancer, and there are resources available to get screened, even if you don't have health insurance. We have all that information on 11alive.com.